this this direction the quadrants are like that so I tend to move uh, with even with the muscle work to a degree with the lymphatic system in the abdomen area it just seems to make a little more sense to follow those lines those that drainage So as I'm doing these clockwise directions, I'm really getting hungry to eat Mexican or Oriental. Okay, you can come up and pull the back a little forward. And now her stomach is growling. So what food do you think she should eat, Mexican or? Chinese. And I suppose I could ask if you like GMO or non GMO food. So I'm going around primarily with the direction of a large intestine. This is the ascending colon and it bends the descending colon, or the transverse colon and then the descending. begin to move. We have the liver right here, front and back, so little techniques in lymphatic work. You can drain the liver. There's a lot of fluid that gets caught in the liver. It's, the liver has quite a task to do to keep us going. And the gallbladder is hidden behind. The liver comes kind of down like so gallbladder is behind it, hangs down just a little. And on this side we have spleen is up under here and pancreas runs across, but the stomach is also coming here. Oftentimes when people feel like they have something going on in their stomach, maybe in this part of the stomach or, or in the center here, that oftentimes can be from stress. It's the small intestines are here, right here in the middle. There's a lot of them. And then when you feel more of an irritation on the outer sides of your um, abdomen, then large intestine, colon. So you can get a little bit more of a fix on what's going on with your stomach when you can identify kind of the area of it. If you are under a lot of stress from a daily thing, the stomach tends to filter that. And so stomachs oftentimes get a little irritated under duress. That's why it's important to relax out things and not take things too seriously. You can take your hands behind and also work up, which feels really good. Kind of gets the whole thing. There's a lot of muscle in the back protecting, but it's quite vulnerable in the front. You can also do some shaking in the front see that kind of action up and down what that is is it's very loose so that means that there's fluid moving and then there are some muscles that run longer so you can sweep these upward and just anything that you think would feel good on you you can add in And then I like to do a little, just a little lymph drainage in the quadrants. So it'll be moving the uh, fluid in this quadrant area. And then there's one caution that you want to do with the abdomen. And that's that um, xiphoid process where the ribs are coming up together. And then there's a little bone. It's kind of a little pointed bone. It's called the xiphoid process. You never want to push on that. So if you're working on this, be sure that you're not coming in hard. Fluid, fluid, right between the ribs in the right direction. Okay. 
so she should be okay. Something else that can be done is in the liver, you're going to find oftentimes that livers feel really different. Uh, a healthy liver should feel soft, and a liver that's being overworked will feel a little bit harder. And then if you feel a liver that feels just like a, you're holding some fat, then that's more of a fatty liver, and you want to be mindful of that. That's not a good condition for a liver to be in. So I'm just doing a little lymph pumping here on the liver right now. Now, in order to do um, more lymph, there's nodes to drain. You need to drain up into the axillary and then the sides of the, of the rib cage. There's some nodes, and then you drain those quadrants, like I did a little bit earlier. You drain those quadrants out, and but then you also come up the wa the um, watershed. Now I'm not on that xiphoid, but there's a structure near there called the cisterna chili, where a lot of lymph will get collected, and then of course going back over the liver. And then you can bring it up to the side and then also open it there and at the neck again. And then there's nodes right about here, which are the deeper, and you can pump that up and pump it up through the middle. And then you can drain the superficial, will go down toward the leg into the inguinal area and it'll be worked into the deeper structure. We have two large uh, nodes here that are deeper you work those up and then you um, bring it up into the the watershed and up into the cisterna chili and then you can also open up and then you can drain the remainder of the superficial lymph down into the inguinal area now this isn't the right order for a lymphatic massage but you can check things that way if you're working somebody's abdomen I don't work that many abdomens except for in lymph.